Forgiveness makes us whole. John chapter 8, verses 10 to 11. When Jesus had raised himself up and saw no one but the woman, he said to a woman, Where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Now, some of us may be familiar with this incident in John the 8th chapter, the first 11 verses, where a, a woman who was caught in the very act of adultery was brought to Jesus by her accusers, and they were ready to stone her according to the law. They were ready to carry out what the law uh, said must be done to somebody committing adultery. They were ready to stone her, but they brought this woman to Jesus and said, you know, what should we do? Uh, you know, this is what the law says. This is what the woman has done. We verified it and we are ready to carry out the law. What are you telling us to do, Jesus? So in this moment, Jesus, you know, right to the ground and he lifts his head up and he tells the people, he says, which one of you having no sin, you go ahead and throw the first stone. And all her accusers dropped the stones and walked away. And then Jesus sees this woman and, you know, he says, where are your accusers? She says, no one is there. Jesus tells her, neither do I condemn you go and sin no more. Now, we must understand the significance of what Jesus said. On the one part, there is forgiveness. I don't condemn you. That means, look, what you've done, what you've been accused of, what has brought you so much shame, you're forgiven. But now, there's one more thing that comes as a result of it. Go and sin no more. That means because you're so forgiven, and you're made, you're so made whole inside you through that forgiveness, you're not going to go back to the very thing that brought brokenness in your life. You're not going to go and sin in that same manner again. So when we truly receive God's forgiveness, it brings us to this place of wholeness, where we don't want to go back to that same old thing that once ruined our lives. That experiencing complete uh, forgiveness in its in its entire sense and the way in what forgiveness is intended to do for us forgiveness is intended to make us whole god's forgiveness coming into our lives is intended to make us so whole that we don't go back to sin now where does forgiving other people come into the picture here remember our experience of god's forgiveness is not complete until we release forgiveness to other people. Jesus told us this. He said, you forgive us our sins even as we forgive those who have sinned against us. That means my experience of God's forgiveness in my own life, which brings wholeness to me, will not be complete until I also release forgiveness to other people. So you see the inter interplay there, the interaction there, that my experience of God's forgiveness, which makes me whole, is connected to my releasing forgiveness to other people. Forgiveness is intended to make us whole, so we don't go back to the sins that once affected our lives. But that wholeness, the experience of that wholeness comes as we release forgiveness to other people. So, let's do it quickly. Let's forgive those who offended us so that we can be made whole. Let's pray. Father, we ask you, that you will empower us to forgive others so that your forgiveness in our lives can have its complete, full effect, making us whole. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.